What's going on you guys? Welcome back to Protective Film Solutions. We've got an exciting video in store for today. Something a little different from uh, what we're used to showing, but nevertheless, very excited to show you this one. As you can see behind me, we've got not one, but two Ford Broncos. The original one and the newest one from 50 years later. So today we're gonna go in depth and show you a little this versus that. Big difference between the old one versus the new one, but also a lot of similarities. So we'll get to that right away. All right, so we're gonna get straight to the brand new Bronco. This is a 2021 Bronco. This this client of ours has done quite a few cars now, so he's very excited to bring it in and get the full thing protected. As you can see, this car is almost done, and it doesn't look like your traditional color, and that is because this car is receiving a full body stealth on it. Uh, so the bright blue did look really good, but this is giving it uh, a bit more of an aggressive appearance. You see all those body lines a bit more, so we'll get to that in a little bit. I mean, first impressions of the Bronco, this thing is a beast. This car in particular was built out of uh, Illinois. The customer had a lot of stuff done all ready from the get-go because as you guys see the new Broncos are a little underwhelming coming from the factory what are your thoughts on that Daniel yeah I agree okay as you can see this one's already modified it's got a little bit thicker uh, suspension bigger tires it's already got exhaust on it it's definitely modernized but you can tell where it took its styling cues from the original chassis. Obviously, the Bronco is a really boxy vehicle. This one, I think, is even leading towards a uh, competition of a Jeep Wrangler. And you can see a lot of the styling cues as well, as far as the sizing as well. You got a lot of things that you would never see on a traditional Bronco. Your full LED taillights on it, the dual dump down exhaust, that's kind of a cool feature as well. Again, this car's already been modified, so it's a little different than stock, but to see one in person, kind of cool. One thing that is really cool is they did decide to keep a manual gearbox as well so on the lower trim model you can get a seven speed uh, otherwise the ecoboost 6 it does have a 10 speed automatic not as cool but it works with the car this one of course is gonna be your four-door uh, the other vehicle behind us is the two-door platform they do make a smaller Bronco as well they made that Bronco Sport which everyone saw first on the road uh, at first I had no idea I thought that was the one I wasn't impressed but finally seeing the full-size one it actually is a really cool looking car big thing on this car obviously is gonna be the soft top uh, that is something that is quite controversial right now uh, for a few reasons, but I know there's a lot of wind noise on these, so I'm excited to see what aftermarket comes out with on there uh, to kind of change that look up and maybe seal it a little bit better from factory. A lot of things I think aftermarket will come out with on this car, very similar to like the C8 platform. I think there's a lot of people that have anticipated the Bronco to uh, get here so they can start getting their hands on and ripping apart. Ms. Amelia, I know she is building a beast of a car right now. Kudos to her. But yeah, the new one overall, it's modernized, but I still think it pays tribute to the original platform. So let's move over to the uh, original one. This is another client of ours who's done uh, quite a few cars. This one actually came to us uh, also from Illinois. Both these cars uh, had some major work done previously. So this is obviously gonna be your 1970 uh, Bronco. Uh, this is the, of course, the two-door, it's a soft top. As you can see, this is not just a standard uh, base level trim Bronco. This thing has been completely redone, uh, restored, upgraded, modernized, but again, still kind of paying tribute to the original uh, setup. Suspension is completely beefed up, tires are massive. Another thing that's really cool on this one is, I think from the factory, they offered, I believe it was a small, like 150 horsepower engine, and then the larger one was a little bit more than that. This client has a 700 horsepower V8 stuffed underneath here. So even though the car looks pretty, it's gonna be a monster. Excited to see him driving it. So styling cues, again, I'm not the biggest truck off-roading fan, but I can definitely appreciate it. So you can definitely see where the new one got its take on the, the boxy look, right? This is what makes a Bronco a Bronco. It separates it from the rest of the cars in its categories. Very simple, minimalistic, small body panels. Obviously you get a front bumper that's chopped up. This is not a stock. Uh, your fender flares that are out on as well. This car is again a soft top, so when you wanna take that off there and have a convertible feel. And yeah, this car actually also has a stealth clear ball done on as well, so it brings out those body lines as we talked about on the hood side of the car, uh, make it look a little bit more aggressive. So if you had to choose between the two, Bronco fan or not, what would you say, the original 1970s Bronco or the modernized 2021 Bronco. So comment below which one you would take. I myself, I think I have to go with the original. Daniel, what do you think? Yeah, especially with that big old engine. In especially with a big old engine in this. This guy probably has more money uh, put into the car than that whole car cost itself. So both these owners did a great job with it. We're actually gonna get to showing you guys a little bit of an install on the 2021 Bronco. Daniel's got a really cool edit of Scott doing the install now, uh, showing you the conversion from gloss to stealth.
so we talked enough about the car. Let's hear it start up right now. Just like that, the Broncos are done with. So a lot of Fords today. Got that Ford GT, which is gorgeous. Got the two Broncos. So always cool to see some different stuff in here. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you like the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, we'll do our best to bring you guys more and more content. Uh, stay tuned, next video, we're gonna be bringing Project C8 out to San Clemente Car Show and taking it for a rip. So you will not wanna miss that because you can finally hear how this car sounds on the road. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm a little tired, Daniel. Are you tired? Yes, sir. You want to share some of this coffee with me? I'm good. It's not Red Bull. It's not Red Bull. It's coffee. Uh, this is also another client's car that came to us for some uh, updates as well. Um, and, but as you can see, 